In this case, A is going to be 8, right? Because 8 squared gives you 64. So therefore, we're going to let X equal 8 tan theta. Therefore, the derivative is going to be 8 secant squared theta d theta. And you, hopefully you guys get the, the notion of what we're about to do. But the problem is you got to be careful because we also have to plug it in to there as well. So it's going to be a little bit more messier, right? So if I can have now the integral of all of this on top, because that's, you know, that's what dx represents. All over. So this squared, so I'll just quickly do that's going to be 64 tan squared theta. I'm pretty sure you guys can just if I can skip that step. And same thing applies here. So again, I'll just square it. So it's going to be 64 tan squared theta plus 64. And hopefully you notice the idea of what we're about to do now. So here we factored out the 25. So guess what? We're going to factor out the 64 on the bottom. And notice these also cancel away. So there's just going to be an 8 now down here. So there's just going to be secant squared theta on top. And now this is an 8 tan squared theta times the square root of 64 times tan squared plus 1. And notice the same situation as before. So using the property of uh, B, that's the same as secant squared. Just going to bring in the 1 over 8 over here. Okay. And then finally, taking the square root of that. Gives us 8 secant theta. Okay. All right. A couple more steps. So bringing it all together, this is going to be 1 over 64 now. That cancels with one of those. So I have secant theta over 10 squared theta. All right, so you may be wondering, okay, you said, you know, the integral is supposed to be easy, right, at this point. And it's almost there. It will be easy. However, there's one little trick we have to do to get there. Okay? And the first, uh, that trick is to convert these into sine and cosine. So, for example, we know secant is 1 over cosine theta. We know tangent is sine over cosine theta. Okay? So, if we simplify this, we will get 1 over cosine times, oh, this is squared, sorry, times cosine squared over sine squared. So after a little bit of a simplification, we actually get this. Like that. Which is, notice, far easier, believe it or not, once you get there. Because now, this is just a u substitution problem. Let u equal sine beta, du is cosine, and this is exactly what we have it. So this is, becomes the integral of u to the negative 2 power. So this ends up being, so this ends up negative u to the 1 half, so this is going to be negative 164 of sine theta 1 of theta plus c. Okay. And again, because it's theta and not x, the last thing we have to do is make our triangle. So same thing when it comes to it. Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So here's my theta. So this is the square root of x squared plus 64. And since it's flipped, so our f final integral is going to be negative 164 times what sine is. So sine is 
opposite over hypotenuse, but since it's the one over it, it's just going to be flipped. Like that, plus C. All that horribleness is our answer. So lots and lots and lots of scenarios when it comes to this. This is a very, very um, detailed um, section when it comes to it. Okay. All right, so let's try some more examples. Get you guys a little bit comfortable with the other types of scenarios, and especially this one here. So this one's kind of a doozy. All right, example three. Find the integral of x to the third divided by, in parentheses, 4 plus 9x squared to the third power. Okay. All right, so this is a little different than what we had it, but it's actually the same concept, believe it or not. Okay. So. But, unfortunately, the bottom is not how we want it, right? I can't find a, a distinguished A term because we have that 9 in front of x squared. Okay? So what we're actually going to have to do is factor out that 9 before we do anything. Okay? So what I mean by factor out the 9 is now make it look like this. So if I factor out a 9... Here, it's now going to be 4 over 9 plus x squared, like that. Okay. Now, we can identify the actual a term in this case. Okay. So, our a term is now going to be 2 over 3, because that when you square it, it gives you 4 over 9. Okay. All right. So, now, finally, we have the situation we have earlier, right? This is a squared, uh, a squared plus x squared. So again, it's going to be tangent. So in tangent, right? Tangent is um, actually pretty popular when it comes to it. So we know um, doo -doo -doo -doo. x is going to equal to 2 thirds tangent. So therefore, the derivative is going to be 2 thirds secant squared theta. And if it's easier, I'm just going to quickly, you know, I'll take the square root of 9 so I can bring it out here and make it easier. So after rewriting this, right, again, putting all this stuff together, I have um, one third on the outside integral of x to the third power. So that's going to be this whole thing to the third power. Okay. Divided by... Four over nine plus x squared. So again, I'm just going to square that, and make it a little faster. So four over nine tan squared theta, and the last thing here is the dx, which is all of that. So it may look really, really horrible, and it does look really, really horrible. Uh, when it comes to so this is a doozy of a problem i should have put a little scary face here because it's a pretty doozy problem okay or actually like I'm less than halfway through it okay all right so same process we just try to simplify as best we can so one over three there you go this is now going to be eight over 27 10 to the third times two-thirds secant squared theta. Okay. All over. And again, hopefully you guys notice the pattern on the bottom. So all that same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this together. So um, 8 times 2 is 16. And then 3 times 27 is going to be 81. 10 to the third theta secant squared theta. And on the bottom we're going to have 
two thirds secant theta, right? So what I just quickly did, I just little portion. I know this is going to be four ninths secant squared theta, and then take the square root. It gives me that. Okay. All right. So let's see what we do get from here now, right? When it comes to it. All right, so let's try to put all this normal jumbo stuff together and make it easier for ourselves, right? So let's just do a quick little note up here. So we have 16 over 81 divided by 2-thirds. Two, uh, so this is the same thing as 16 over 81 times 3 over 2. So these actually cancel. And that cancels. So I get back 8 over 27. Okay. And now finally, multiplying by this 1 third of the end, I get back 81 when you multiply by 27, right? So kind of like contradictory here. So we get 8 over uh, 81. outside and let's keep going so now notice secant one of the secants cancel and I get 10 to the third theta secant uh, just a secant right close those cancel just one secant theta okay oh almost forgot about one thing Oh, I messed up on this one. I for, 